people have to live in, in unity. We are still in transition. Civil society has been decimated. Of course we rely on media. And I think the government has not done enough. The international community has failed to respond. No place in the world is perfect. Jaffrey with another episode of South Asia Focus. Let's begin the show. As the second COVID wave has left Indian health system in dire straits, the common citizens have stepped up and joined the authorities in fight. From quarantine centers to ICU facilities, different communities are coming up with all forms of assistance to strengthen the fight. Meanwhile, in Pakistan and Himalayan nation Nepal too, the second wave is gaining pace. Nepal's positivity rate has gone as high as 44%. Pakistan has rung alarm bells after strains first detected in Brazil and South Africa were found in fresh infections. Indians have joined the fight against COVID as a dire second wave of infections has left hospitals and facilities overflowing. Makeshift arrangements by communities are turning out to be a blessing for patients who have no place to go in the country's overwhelmed health system due to a massive surge of hundreds of thousands of infections every day. A Sikh temple in the Indian capital, New Delhi, was converted into a COVID-19 care facility with oxygen supplies. ये 250 बेड का हमने इसको तैयार किया है इसके अंदर हर तरह की मेडिकल फैसिलिटीज हैं लेकिन आईसीयू नहीं है और इसके अंदर ऑक्सीजन बेड्स हैं सारे के सारे डॉक्टर हैं नर्सेस हैं दवाइयां हैं Daily infections rose twice by over 400,000 infections health ministry data showed the number has been in excess of 300,000 every day for the past 2 weeks the governments have been working overtime to contain the spread but the experts say the unprecedented surge will take a few weeks more before showing some signs of decline the state government of uttar pradesh constructed a covid-19 hospital that can accommodate 750 patients at its prestigious Banaras Hindu University campus. Authorities in Nabhan Srinagar city were preparing to open an isolation facility with 250 beds which includes an ICU ward. In this hospital we have an intensive care unit. We have uh, two small uh, high dependence uh, this uh, wards where we can give oxygen and then we have 10 uh, wards for those patients who that who don't need icu or who don't need oxygen the facilities are we have about 20 functional ventilators then we have cardiac monitors then we have defibrillators then we have pulse oximeters then we have oxygen concentrators In northeastern Guwahati city authorities converted Indian railway train coaches into isolation facility to accommodate the patients who are unable to find space in the overwhelmed hospitals while India has enhanced its medical production by several times in past 3 to 4 weeks it has also been receiving aid from far and wide Oxygen's demand has raised record times in last few weeks with demand likely to be stabilized in few days the government and private players have assured the country Meanwhile India's neighbor Nepal too is being overwhelmed by a COVID-19 surge Nepal is now recording 57 times as many cases as a month ago with positivity rate reaching bordering 44% Nepalese towns near the Indian border could not cope with the growing number of people needing treatment while only 1% of country's population was fully vaccinated. 
The new wave has seen a shortage of hospital beds and medical supplies across the Himalayan nation. Meanwhile, Pakistan has detected two coronavirus variants first identified in Brazil and South Africa. The highly contagious variants were discovered at a hospital in Karachi, Pakistan's largest city, which has also reported the most deaths in any city, accounting for 3,903 of the country's 17,811 deaths. कल जो है तेरह जो है सैंपल्स की जीनोमिक स्टडी हुई है ये आखान यूनिवर्सिटी हॉस्पिटल में हुई है इसमें दस जो है यूके वेरिएंट आए हैं और दो अफ्रीका और ब्राज़ीलियन वेरिएंट आए हैं तो आप समझ सकते हैं कि ये नौयत किस किस्म की नौयत और किस किस्म की दबाव पड़ सकता है हेल्थ हेल्थ की फैसिलिटीज़ Pakistan has seen record deaths in recent days from the coronavirus and stricter restrictions on movement and gathering in public are planned for the upcoming Eid holiday. Officials are worried the country's healthcare system, already under strain, could reach breaking point if more contagious variants of the virus begin to spread. As pandemic sweeps the country, India's allies and friends around the world have lent it their moral and material support. In Sri Lanka, the country with which India's relationship has thrived on shared values, people held prayers for India's recovery from the second wave. Others have been sending plane loads of medical assistance to strengthen its fight. Observers say the country will experience its peak by mid-May this year and a further ramping up of facilities is required at the moment. In a gesture expressing concern for the people of neighbouring India, Buddhist monks in Sri Lanka prayed for the improvement of situation in India that stands ravaged by the coronavirus. Monks at the historic Kelenia Buddhist temple began chanting the Holy Ratna Sutra verse. The Sutra was first preached by Buddha more than 2600 years ago when a pandemic had devastated the ancient Indian kingdom of Vasala. Since then, the Sutra is recited during times of hardship, believing the practice would eradicate the pandemic. When Sri Lanka was shut down due to the virus in March last year, Buddhist clergy recited the Sutra every night for one month. Our neighbour, the Indian people, suffer a lot because of this COVID-19. Uh, Actually, as a religious people, and also uh, especially the Buddhist monks and Buddhist people in this country, want to share the, our sympathy with the people of India. India was one of the first countries to deliver vaccines to Sri Lanka under its Vaccine Maitri program a few months ago. Not just Sri Lanka, New Delhi had sent vaccines to dozens of countries. Now these countries have scrambled to support Delhi when the latter is recording unprecedented rise in cases. Plane loads of ventilators, medicines and oxygen equipment have been pouring into India from countries including the UK and the US. By Sunday, some 300 tons of supplies on 25 flights had arrived at Delhi International Airport alone. 
I know that the, the support that has already been provided to India directly, whether it's in oxygen concentrators or respirators or PPE equipment and all of these things has been, um, has been positively received and we intend to provide as much further assistance as we possibly can and I look forward to discussing that with Prime Minister Modi this afternoon. Indian government has asserted that coronavirus is a shared problem. New Delhi, which supported all other countries, including the states with essential medicines last year, said that what has been termed as aid by press and observers is mutual expression of friendship. Moving on. People in Bangladesh too have come forward to help the needy in these testing times. People at the lowest rung of the economic ladder have been affected most by the restrictions imposed due to coronavirus. A number of private organizations are feeding thousands of them every day and the drive has just been expanded in holy month of Ramadan. Have a look. A group of volunteers in Bangladesh's capital Dhaka is dishing up free Ramadan meals for the poor amid an extended lockdown in the country that has been imposed to curb the spread of coronavirus. Dozens of people could be seen queuing up by midday to pick up iftar, the meal that Muslims eat after sundown to break their fast during Ramadan. করোনার জন্য যখন লকডাউন হলো তখন আমরা শুরু করেছি আমাদের এটার ফান্ডিং এসেছে হচ্ছে পরিবারের আত্মীয় সজনে যে জাকাতের টাকা নিজেদের সঞ্চিত টাকা ওটা থেকে পুরো বছরটাই আমরা চালিয়ে যাওয়ার চেষ্টা করেছি যারা দিন মজুর ছিল রিকশা চালায় পথে থাকে ওসব মানুষ যাদের একেবারেই কর্মহীন হয়ে পড়েছিল The city-based charity Mehman Khana or Food for Guests has been cooking up free meals since March last year. The charity has had funding issues but the group says it has somehow managed to arrange food for 1,000 people on daily basis. তো এই বছরও লকডাউনের পর থেকে আমরা আবার শুরু করেছি এখন যেহেতু রোজা এসেছে রোজার কারণে আমরা সন্ধ্যার সময় এটা আয়োজন করছি ইফতার এবং লকডাউন দুটেই বলা যায় মূলত আয়োজনটা তো খাবারের তো আমরা এটা ভালোভাবে চালিয়ে যেতে চাই আসলে সবারই তো সীমিত খুব রিসোর্স থাকে আমাদের রিসোর্স শেষ হয়ে আসে আজকে বন্ধ হবে কালকে বন্ধ হবে আমরা অনিশ্চিত থাকি যে কালকে কীভাবে চলবে তারপর একটা বছর চলেছে এখনও চলে যাচ্ছে সবার Bangladesh's current lockdown, which was triggered by rising COVID-19 cases, started on April 5 and was recently extended to May 16. I'm here for the economy. 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 রুদ্র পরিশ্রম তো ইনকাম তো এরকম হয় না ইফতার কিনা খাওয়ার মতো সামর্থ্য নাই এখানে এসে দেখলাম ইফতার ফ্রি দিয়ে দিতেছে তো রিস্কা সাইড করে ইফতার ফ্রি দিয়ে নিলাম দি সেকেন্ড ওয়েভ অফ কোভিড 19 হ্যাজ अगेन ডেল্ট আ হিউজ ব্লো টু দা ইনফর্মাল সেক্টর অফ বাংলাদেশ when around 50 million people who work on a daily wage basis are unable to cope with the fallout caused by the pandemic According to the latest labor force survey of the Bangladesh Bureau of Statistics, that is BBS, 85% of the country's working people are employed in the informal sector. They have no job security and work on a daily wage basis. And now in our section of Asia this week, the story is from across the continent that made news this week. Malaysia has started a parallel COVID-19 inoculation program for people who choose to receive the AstraZeneca vaccine after it was removed from an ongoing rollout due to public fears over its safety. 
though reports of possible links to very rare blood clots have dented confidence in the shot in Malaysia and elsewhere. The slots for 2,68,000 doses were filled in just three hours after booking were open. Recipients said that they felt relieved after receiving their first shot of the vaccine as the country faces a recent spike in coronavirus cases. Malaysia had recently reported its first case of a variant first identified in India, which experts say may have mutations that would make it more transmissible, cause more severe disease or evade vaccine immunity. A leading Myanmar swimmer has called for an international boycott of his country's Olympic Committee on branding it a puppet of a military regime ruling the strip-torn Southeast Asian nation. Australia-based Vin Teto said that he has given up his dream of swimming at the Tokyo Olympics in protest of the military junta which seized power in Myanmar on Feb 1 and has killed hundreds of people in a bloody crackdown on dissent. The 26-year-old swam from Myanmar at the 2019 Southeast Asian Games in the Philippines where he posted an Olympic qualifying B time in the 50 meters freestyle, which would allow him to compete at Tokyo on invitation by World Swimming Governing Body FINA. However, he said that he could no longer bring himself to march under the Myanmar flag as athletes would be used as propaganda by the military regime to legitimize their rule. Sakura Cherry Blossom is the most famous scenic beauty in Japan. During the spring season, when the winter ends and the temperature is warm, various kinds of beautiful sakura flowers bloom. In Japan, Cherry blossoms bloom from south area to north. Therefore, the cherry blossom season changes depending on their region and visitors can see cherry blossoms in various landscapes over time. Minato Mirai area in Yokohama city is a modern port town. Cherry blossoms bloom with background of sea and tall buildings. The way to enjoy cherry blossom is to look at the flowers by laying sheets like picnics with friends and family. The scenery of the cherry blossom seen from the boat has an atmosphere that feels very sensational. Colorful tulip flowers and Sheba Zakura, similar to the shape of a cherry blossom, is beginning to bloom. In Japan, winter has ended and spring is coming so the temperature has warmed up. The scenery of Mount Fuji and flowers by four seasons entertain many tourists. Located in Shibua, this public park is a popular place for relaxation. The view of the toilet in the park feels in harmony with the place thanks to the texture and warmth of wood. This park's toilet color is white and has an art design on the roof. A renowned architect has designed this toilet. The unique toilet project is the Tokyo Toilet operated by the Nippon Foundation. The colorful and clear toilet has a unique device, the space inside is transparent from outside. ロックがかかっていない状態ですと中がスケスケの状態になっています。で、スケスケの理由としましては、え、中に人がいないかどうかっていうのを確認できる。プラス、え、中が綺麗な状態であるかということを入る前に確認ができるようになっています。では入って
クをかけますと、えー、外からも中からも見えない不透明な状態になります。This unique mechanism uses spatial film. When the key is closed and electricity flows, it becomes transparent to opaque. To me, that car, I tell you, can't see the car, and the car is very small, and it's very dangerous. The Tokyo Toilet Project aims to renew toilets in public parks in Shibuya, Tokyo. In cooperation with famous and renowned designers and architects and toilet company. 公園トイレに関してはどうしても汚いだったり臭い怖いあのそういうイメージが先行してしまっています。なので今回あのデザインの力を活用してあの新しいトイレを開設することによっていろんな方にですね皆さんに公共トイレが自分たちのものであるということを認識いただいて2022年の3月までにはすべての17カ所のトイレが完成する予定になっていますのでそのコロナが収束したタイミングでもまた日本にお越しいただいてトイレ巡りをしていただけたらと思っています。The unique project that Tokyo Toilet is attracting attention for creating a landscape. Of urban spaces and becoming a new tourist spot for foreign travelers. Moving on, now we take you to various Sikh shrines in India, where Sikh devotees gathered to mark the auspicious 400th birth anniversary of their ninth religious leader, Guru Tegh Bahadur. He is famous for his supreme sacrifices and known as a great teacher, excellent warrior, thinker, and poet who wrote detailed descriptions of the nature of God. Sikh devotees gathered at Golden Temple, the Sikhism's holiest shrine in India's northern Amritsar city, to pray to their ninth religious leader, Guru Tegh Bahadur, on his 400th birth anniversary. Devotees took a dip in the holy pond inside the temple premises. Usually on this auspicious day, the Golden Temple is packed with huge crowds. However, due to the ongoing second wave of coronavirus pandemic, fewer devotees were present. Corona ne karke sangta huniye kaatne, kafi kaatne. Sangta kafi jada kaatne, par je hi corona mahamari na hundi. इतने बहुत संगत ने भरपूर पर यह संगत बहुत मना रही है देशों विदेशों अंदर मना रही संगत इन कैपिटल न्यू दिल्ली प्राइम मिनिस्टर नरेंद्र मोदी विजिटेड अ शिख शाइन सीस गंज गुरुद्वारा एंड ऑफर्ड प्रेयर्स टू मार्क द ओकेशन It is believed that Guru Teg Bahadur's teachings remind Sikhs and non-Muslims in India to follow and practice their beliefs without fear of persecution and forced conversions by Muslims. Today, nine Guru Guru Teg Bahadur Sahib Maharaj Ji's 400th anniversary of Prakash Guru Purb is, which is. समुचा सिख संसार बहुत श्रद्धा सत्कार चा उमादे नाल मना रहे हैं। गुरु तेग बहादुर वास बोर्न इन अमृतसर इन अप्रैल 1621। ही वास नेम्ड तेग बहादुर माइटी ऑफ द सोल बाय गुरु हरगोबिंद फॉर हिस करेज इन अ बैटल अगेंस्ट द मुगल्स। Believed to have mastered the art of archery and traditional forms of martial arts, legends say Guru Tegh Bahadur was executed on the orders of Mughal Emperor Aurangzeb in Delhi on November 24, 675. As per the beliefs, Guru Tegh Bahadur guided his followers towards the path of peace. With that, we come to the end of this week's episode. See you next week. Goodbye and take care. Subscribe Tag TV YouTube channel and press the notification button.